All right, so two weeks ago we covered Chinese meals in a bag. We're not going to focus on that a whole lot today, but instead I figured while we're on the topic, let's talk about a certain commercial that's been on TV here lately. Now, if you haven't seen this, basically it starts off, it's got two people sitting at a table, a couple, and they're looking at about 12 of these in front of them trying to figure out where's the good Chinese food and where can we go to get. Now, I'm no genius, but if you got a bunch of these sitting in front of you, you've probably ate a lot of Chinese and have a pretty good idea where the best deal and the best quality of food is in town. But here's the thing, I want to know where they're living. Are they living in New York? Is that the reason that they don't want to get out in the traffic? Maybe they're afraid that they're going to run into Beyonce. Maybe they're afraid she's going to eat all the orange chicken, but hey, it's okay. I'm going to guess that she probably likes fried chicken, much like I do in most of America. Thing of it is, though, is that I think it's fried chicken that she would like, because how else are you going to get all that junk in the trunk? I saw the single ladies video, and I saw her backing it up. Let me tell you, it doesn't get there easy. Fried chicken's what I think is the cause of that, but I digress. Here's the thing. Right after this, it goes over and in the background, there's basically what looks like a reject Muppet sitting on the couch, and it happens to be a panda bear. Now, I don't know if you know a whole lot about panda bears, but they can be quite violent. If you don't believe me, check out this irrefutable evidence. Supposed to be me. Okay, so that was Tekken 6. Now the thing of it is though is that we're talking about a panda bear here and the key word here is bear. Bears can be very violent and from what I hear they like to eat a lot of meat which last I checked we happen to have a lot of muscle which makes up a lot of meat. Probably not a good idea to have a bear as a pet. On top of that I also hear that they can be quite racist towards park rangers. Just go ask Yogi Bear but I'll tell you what I'm going to make two exceptions to the rule here. Number one, if your name happens to be Fozzie Bear, in which case you happen to be a very funny comedic bear. I'll let that one slide. Or number two, if your name happens to be Cleveland and you happen to have a show on Fox on Sunday nights, that includes, well, talking bears. <laughs> 